will join me in this episode when we will finally discover another forest cave, go to Colchest and collect enough materials to craft. Okay, the door is no match for the Colchest. The fist weapons and the accommodating set. On the way towards the mountain, we traverse a swamp and defeat a couple of abominations. Once we are done crafting the fist weapon, we will traverse a mountain biome where we get into a little bit of trouble because of the fist weapons. And after that, we finally venture into the plains biome where we quickly get reminded of oh, damn. that the game is still no cakewalk. I know, I gotta be careful. Take one of those. Today, we are back at Valheim again. And we left off last episode with defeating Mordor. And we've already built the Artisan Workbench, which allows us now to build the needed crafting stations and stuff for the most advanced recipes. Stone oven for bread, the blast furnace to smell dark iron, the windmill to, uh, what's it called, to mill uh, the barley, and a spinning wheel to um, craft, what's it called, lion cloth or something like that, I think. I'm not quite sure how it's, uh, what it's actually called, but those are the uh, crafting stations we still got to build. Most of them we can build already, because um, the materials for that are only a little bit of iron and uh, some of the more basic materials like fine wood, wood, uh, stone, nothing too special and we should probably have even enough iron to do that. Yeah, the spinning wheel will be placed inside, but the oven will be outside. Mm, one more. Oh yeah, I need to make the iron nails first. I'm a little... wow. Okay, I, I for sure thought that the range of the artisan table would be a little bit smaller, but this radius is gigantic, like for real. That's a lot of space it covers. Oh yeah. Now we've got them all built once. Uh, we probably need a couple more of the smelters to be able to smelt the dark iron more efficiently, but later mm, okay what do we need for the defenders wolf and leather uh, wolf pelt and leather scrap wolf pelt and leather scrap and it was the yeah the cultist trophy Oh man, that's what I've thought. The barley can't grow in this environment. That's really, really bad. Oh, damn it. That's not what I wanted to do. Mm. So if for the barley, I need to make a farm or a field within the plains biome, which is really yeah, stressful to protect, I guess. Because I'm not quite sure if the game allows enemies to attack um, the field or the surroundings of the field while I'm not there. And I'm not sure if it, uh, if the barley keeps growing if I'm not in the area and it does not count as active. Okay, it, oh, there are still piglets. Okay, nice. But I will probably uh, remove some of the boars now. Just because um, if there are too many, they will um, devour too much, too much food. 
And I need a little bit of uh, the boar meat to uh, tame some of the wolves. I would love to tame a two star wolf, but I forgot where I've actually encountered the first one. And I'm not sure again, uh, I'm not sure where it is. It's either uh, here on uh, our starting island or it's um, around here. Oh yeah, if there's a mountain around here and here, I may could check those to see if I can find some um, of the frost caves. That would probably be nice as well. Okay, I think I'll just head over to the shop. And see the... Um, no, no, let me just um, change that portal to free that one up. Yeah, so let's head to the shop. Mm, do we take... Uh, nah, just... We'll just go there. Oh, I forgot that I don't have enough food. Damn it, we gotta head back. Okay, that should work. Um, yeah, if they find anything interesting over there, we should probably be able to carry all the stuff around. If there's something more interesting, we might consider coming or going back there and uh, placing a portal. Like if you find uh, a two-star wolf or something like that. Yeah, with the silver armor, a, an abomination is not that hard anymore. The silver shield blocks so much damage. Yeah, we also need to collect uh, a couple more of the roots. What do I call the yeah, roots? Because we also uh, want to build the uh, abomination set. Hopefully, I can get two circling cores. Come here. Another one. Come on, come on, please. Yes. Two circling cores, perfect. Yes, there's another abomination. Those things were actually scary. Come on over. That could be another one. Yes, it is. Nice, I can finally uh, spot them. Okay. That mountain looks like a proper one as well. Like it's going really high up. Maybe we'll be able to find a first cave around here. Oh, that's nice. That could be used. It's the actual structure. Cool. Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Interesting, interesting. It can't be that hard to find another frost cave for real. There's, there's one, nice. 
as always you just gotta complain and then in the next couple of seconds minutes you you get what you want why is it always like this oh yeah so by the way apparently you can knock the uh, the icicles down oh yes you can Okay, and apparently they deal a lot of damage. Uh, I would love to see how much damage they deal. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's another that's another type of way down, which we have not seen so far. Quite interesting. Oh, two cultist. Okay, the door is no match for the cultist. Okay, I think we have enough. Nope, one is missing, okay. Now we have enough. Oh yeah, they can drop bronze. Oh, the doors do drop iron. Oh, come on. Okay, nice. That was actually perfect. We found a little bit more than we need. I think we got one left. We, we, are, we have now 20. And I hope we can upgrade the weapon at least once, uh, if it has anything, or if it has a useful playstyle. Yeah, there's most certainly a hidden treasure here. This does look like the exact spot. Yeah. So apparently it was. Those remains look nice as well. Like a small little castle. Or... Mm, what's the proper word? I think fort. Oh, there's another first cave. That's nice. Let's quickly clear this one as well and then head home to craft the weapons, the fist weapons. And see if there are any any use. Oh, this one goes up. Oh come on. Hmm. Does not look like any of the the ways up here lead to anything. Did I check that one? I don't think so. Nope, I did not. Oh, there are a lot of bats here. And I'm missing every single one. What?
Yeah, okay, it's the same one. But apparently no breakable walls around here as well, so... Yeah. So we are clear with this dungeon as well, and we can head back home. Which will only take like 20 minutes. That's a golem. Is it? Yes it is, okay. It's nice that I found two caves in this mountain biome. Because at the beginning I was quite sure that that there that, that, that I could find at least one frost cave in this biome because of its size and of its height. But then I was like uh, but then after a little bit of exploring I was like hmm maybe maybe I was mistaken. But both the dungeons were on uh this one was on a really steep hill. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's see. What do we need for those? Silver. Okay, let's see how they attack. Okay, left, right swings. How do they block? It's okay, middle mouse. It's a kick. Okay, how much damage do they deal? 60 slash. Hmm. I want to see how much a silver sword does with slash damage 75. But they are quite weak. But I have a really high parry and block. Yeah, that's that's quite quite strong. Yeah, they have a really really high uh, parry and backstab ability. Mm, those just increase. The combination of both could be really interesting, but the armor of all the, of the whole set is just not enough. Okay, oh, they only need one silver to upgrade. That's quite cheap. That's really cheap to upgrade. Wow. Okay, let's see how far I can get them. Okay, now it's getting expensive. And I think they are... Oh, mm. ah, damn it. I've made a mistake. I've accidentally crafted a second pair. Mm. Yeah, no, I won't be able to craft them any higher. Okay, apparently I can't put the this weapons on the mannequin for or the item, the armor stand. Um, yeah, which was rather unusual, because for the other things it worked perfectly fine. Hopefully we can get something out of that. Let's go. Nothing. Yeah, so the only thing we better do now is collect a lot of... Yeah, an unreasonable amount of black iron from the plains biome. So maybe we can travel there and collect some. I don't want to comfort anymore. Hmm, I thought it should be more. I thought it should be 11. Maybe I removed something. I probably placed the portal somewhere around there. Close to the plains biome, but not in the plains biome, and close to the... Yeah, sure. Okay, nope, 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 nope.
think I have enough for a portal and a workbench. So I probably place it around here. And I have enough for a chest, perfect. Yeah, I think here will be will be nice enough. Uh, let's build a workbench and place a portal. So we quickly going to grab ourselves a little bit of food and craft some arrows. So uh, it happened again. I just went 8k for a little bit and um, as I came back I forgot to restart the recording. So I've renamed the portal to 11 as well as that one down here. And um, to, yeah, to free up the emergency portal. And I've noticed that um, I forgot to set the recording channel correctly. So the audio did not record while exploring the snow around here and the two dungeons. But that was just um, to craft the armor and the weapons. Which is probably not that interesting. So let's head into the plains biome and explore there a little bit. Hopefully, um, collect a lot of uh, black iron scrap. We already have 16 here, which is uh, for traveling here along the, sh uh, along the shore and finding a nice spot to build the portal. And uh, we hopefully will be able to, yeah, clear one or two of the, what are they called, um, goblin villages or, or fooling villages. I'll just quickly bring back the fine wood because I will, uh, I'm I don't have any right now, and I will need a li little bit more soon. The normal wood I can I can use to make um, stashes along the way or oh, place down other chests if I'm too far away. To store ever, uh, to store the ore here, or come back here and store your ore. We'll make our way over to this village and see if we can somehow manage to defeat or somehow clear it. I'm quite cautious because foolings, um, yeah, not not especially the foolings, but the fooling berserkers deal a lot of damage. And I want to dodge them as much as possible, or, uh, yeah, abuse their mechanics, their pathing. And have Squito. Nice. While I'm here, I'll try to collect as much as many cloud berries as possible. Just because I can, and it's nice to have them um, stored. That's the only berries in the game that you can collect in such vast quantities that you probably do not have to worry about them at all. Like for real, if you find a cloud berry bush or yeah, whatever they are called. You'll always find like 10 of them. Okay, so... And the Death Squito noticed us. Oh, it's not. Interesting. Too late. Mm, I think I'll shoot that one over there as well. Oh, that's hard to hit. Come on. Nice. Okay. We've got a couple of them on the floor and a berserker. 
Uh, let's see if we can get rid of them one by one. Nope. If it's two, I might be... Oh, it's a one star. Mm, let's try. We can always get back up on the stone. Oh, that one's a spear thrower. Frostnir is nice as a weapon. I may have mentioned it before, but the the frost effect of Frostnir is amazing. Okay, that was too... Maybe I can trigger that one. Okay, it was just that one. I get rid of that one as well. Oh, it almost killed him. Okay, I think I'll go for those on the left side now. Uh, I can't see it correctly around here. Nope, it missed. A two star. I'm quite interested in how hard he hits, but uh, I don't actually want to find out. I think I hit the berry bush. Is he triggering the others or what's going on now? Okay, now I've pulled the Berserker. So I'm clearly going to abuse their mechanics. I'm, I will not even bother uh, taking one of the fooling berserkers in a one-on-one on. Oh, uh, take on a fooling berserker, even if it's a one-on-one. I, I may consider it if it's a one-on-one, but I know they hit hard. They hit like a truck. Like for real, they are. They are probably on the same level as a troll if you're starting the game. There, are there any more? I think down no, there's one more. Yes, there's one. And I missed. Something was blocking. Do we get normal foolings? Yeah, I may be able to. Frostnir is amazing. The damage, the frost effect, 
I don't think spirit affects foolings, but uh, I think spirit only or the spirit damage only affects undead and uh, the draugers. But yeah. First near is nice. Ooh, we've just had a glimpse on its knockback effect. It has 120 knockback. Wow, that's a lot. Okay, this time it's only the Berserker, so maybe maybe we will try a little one-on-one -on -one and find out if it's if it's possible. Let's see. Okay, I can block its attacks. Okay, not too many, not too many. Ooh. Okay, it's it's possible. But I gotta be really careful with its attack patterns. And I am not able to block too many of its attacks directly. Okay, so there's one under there, which I'm probably not be able, so I might go for that one. Nice, that one died from the arrow. That one should die or not. Okay, foolings. A fooling, two f or two foolings do not pose a challenge, so to say. But it's not the foolings solo that pose or that are, that are a threat. It's always their numbers. In general, they only roam in groups, and on top of that, like those villages are normally packed with them. Like you can see there's there's a, a couple more and a berserker more. Just in, in the back of the village. Sure, I think that one is a shaman. Let's get to go for that one. Was that a one star? Yes, it was. Oh, damn it. Maybe I can get that one as well. Those are the ones I, I fear. The, the ranged mobs. French enemies are always, always scary. Because they will be able to attack you even if you run away with ease. Okay, I think that one is a two star. Where did the shaman go? Oh, the shaman is standing right in the middle. trigger those two and it was a triple okay it's just normal foolings proceed because I'm quite sure if, if I hit any of the three around there the shaman will trigger and I'm not sure how, how strong they are so I may just go for the shaman oh it was enough 
Wow. That was unexpected. I would have thought that a shaman could tank at least two arrows. Two star hits hard. Okay, two, the two star fooling is uh, legit scary. Nice, I was able to parry. That's always great. How much? Yeah, I'm, I'm closing in on the weight limit. I'll just quickly grab some wood. Oh, I've got 25 now, nice. Okay, let's see if we can pull any others out of the village. Right now it does not look like it. We could probably pull the Berserker. Which we probably have to. Interesting. It, it didn't look like the Berserker was uh, parried, but the audio cue, uh, yeah, told us. And then after hitting it a couple, uh, hitting it, uh, it 
we've got the parry bonus on our damage. Why did that one get hit? Did I get hit by that? Oh yes! What? Nice! That's what I wanted to know! Okay, can I get rid of that one? That was probably a hit. That one is on. I think three should be enough. Yes, three hits. Hmm. Three hits did push him down. thing I want to know is what else is in there like there's I think that's a shaman I think right in the front there's a shaman right now yeah that one's gone hopefully the ones inside got triggered it does not look like it okay so there are a couple behind Or at least one was behind. Fooling totem. Oh, I forgot. Okay, there's one up there, one in there, and that one. I think that one can't leave. Yes, he can't. Come on. No. Just in case. Okay, nice. Don't need the, those. Those I don't need as well. So barley and flux are. Are the new or the highest ingredients? I don't know. The 
barley is definitely an ingredient. What's that kind of Stonehenge? Yeah, I was just just thinking, we we miss one, right? Like, on top of that one should be or one left. Oh, oh there's a there's another berserker in there. So I was not holding up the shield. Or at least the game did not think so. Right now I'm not quite sure if uh, those hats... I will destroy one, let's see. Do they give anything special? Okay, it's just deer hide. Hmm. I would have thought it was uh, lox hide or something. If it's only deer hide, I will not bother. Damn it. Okay, no. Um, the fog is quite thick again. Okay, that one noticed me. Stamina on the last hit. Okay. Let's see around here. I missed around there. Oh. a lot. Oh nice, I can demolish that. Oh that's nice to know. Okay, I can't destroy their buildings, but everything that I could build, I can destroy. So, yeah, those I can destroy as well. But, mm, where's it? I may just make a quick trip back home to store all the stuff I have collected now. Because there are quite some things in there that I would like to have. Especially I would like to... Um, was it process the flux? 
in the spinning wheel to see what else I can make with it. Or if I need uh, the dark, is it dark iron? Black iron? I don't know. Or if I need black iron to craft any of the new recipes. I should probably... Do I need to plant? Or... or... Do I need to plant flax? I'm not, not sure. Does this one work? I'll just add like 10 and see how much it's coming out. Yeah, we've got away more than enough. Uh, yeah, tools. I wanted to check. Uh, flux I can build. Ooh, porcupine, there it is. Uh, porcupine is, in my opinion, probably the best. Um, yeah, melee weapon. Because it's dealing blunt and pierce damage. Which there's probably no enemy that's immune to both. Most of them are either neutral to one of them, or, um, or vulnerable. And I like the style of it. Okay, so let's check. There was something else padded. Okay. Okay, it has more armor. But it requires a lot of lion thread. Or linen thread. Linen, I think it is called. Damn it, is there something here? Yes, a linen cape. Which is red. As, oh, you can choose, okay. Okay, so nothing special. But I think it's a one-on-one -on -one return. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, yeah, I will just store it here. And I wanted to see if I have to plant it. Damn it, I have. Just make a field where the goblin village is. Because I can't plant that stuff here. The last barley I planted did um, have the message pop up that it's uh, it's not um, it's not possible to grow here. Are they hungry? They are hungry, damn it. I 
I'm not sure how long the boars uh, are able to sur survive with the hungry um, attribute, I guess. Or how long they are able to survive um, if they are hungry. But I I most definitely do not want to f want to find out. By the way, what do I need for... Nah, I can't. Hmm. Yeah, I've got to replant those. There's no way around it. Ah, damn it. Should probably craft a lot more bows. Oh, I could display the bronze armor as well. The yeah, bows. I mean, I should craft a lot more arrows. Because I'm using quite a lot of them. Should be enough. Um, there. Others. Lint. Iron. Uh, wood. If I think about it, I probably should move portal closer towards the village. Which I actually can because uh, all this way up here is still meadows. So I might be able to put it around here and then have, have it faster towards the village because I have to reg regularly check up on the uh, barley and the, f the flux growing. So I might as well do that. It looks quite nice if you can make out the, the edges of the next island. Do I know? No, I don't. Okay. place the portal directly inside uh, the goblin village because I'm quite sure that there will be a time when there are still enemies there or when there will be enemies around and if I'm inside the hut there it will be a little bit problematic I guess That's the wrong way around. Oh yeah, I forgot to mark the... Oh, uh, I think it was there. Dark iron... I don't know. Forty? I forgot how much there was. Oh my 
I able to build Porcupine? I thought Porcupine would need Black Iron. love to know if uh, locks are aggressive towards uh, berserkers he's not moving apparently i'm too far away or not in line of sight well i will take it too far away for him. The planes biome does actually look nice, but it's terrifying. I missed that one. Come on. Hmm. I don't care, he will come back. Let's see what's in there. For that? Oh, come on. You can do better. Oh, I forgot to replenish the rested buff. Oh, really? See, maybe I can plant more if I explore the other villages. Hmm. Let's see what's in there. Hopefully, nothing too scary. from oh, what he's throwing up what yeah there's a fool stuck inside the, the stone what what kind of joke is that It's probably because the entrance is inside the stone. Nice. Damn it. Oh yeah, sure.
sharpening stone. What? Okay, that's a little bit odd. Yeah, as you can see, the forests, um, or yeah, those are forests inside the plains biome, are typically made out of uh, bergs, and so there's, it's really easy to farm fine wood. Okay, so there's the next village. But I don't have a rock nearby which I could abuse or which I could use. This one's going to be really hard. Yeah, so I may be able to lure the foodlings. Yeah, sure, I hit both, both one stars. Mm. Somewhere down there, somewhere down there was a shaman, and that's one I want to defeat as soon as possible. Is that a normal berserker, or is it a one star? Because the other two just had some leather things on their sides. Okay, there he is. The one I want to get rid of. Nice.
I'm not sure, but that one looks darker or more reddish. That might could be a two star. It's just a one star, okay. Where did the Death Squito end? Uh, just a sec. Oh, there he is. Uh, eh. It's really hard to tell. Okay, maybe I go for that one. While I'm at it. Okay, now the Death Squito is coming. I missed, damn it. Three? Yeah. yeah. It's all non star. That might be that might be possible. really far okay I'm I'm certain that one is not a, a non-star I'm quite sure that's a at least a one star berserker I think there's one more fooling yes there was And it triggered one over here as well. I think there's one too. Yes. <laughs> the fooling is rectal quite nice. I don't want to get too close to the locks because I accidentally shot one while trying to shoot um, a death squito. And uh, no, I'm not sure if they are uh, still uh, in a bad mood. I think there's still one. That one's a shaman. Okay. That one has to hit, please. Nice. That one was uh, quite important. because he went uphill. There's still one more. And it was too far. Damn it. Now I can maybe shoot that one. Nice. Let's see. Uh, 
so if that one is gone, I think there's... It's always just a, a s small tiny bit that's missing to hit them. Okay, I think it should be clear now. Come on, please. No, it's just a normal berserker. Interesting. Okay, there's one more. Let's go for that angle. if a berserker would be possible to hit the the locks but that's a way too risky it's way too risky to try that Okay, I might be able to cheese the mechanics here. Okay, that's quite nice. Uh, Flux is uh, always producing two. So it will always double. Yeah, I, I'll probably place a chest down on the shore because it's not that far away and there's nothing there. Mm, do I have enough? I need one wood. Did that chest just give me four wood?
for now. This will do. Have a nice day. Bye. Join me in the next episode when we will clear another fooling village, collect a lot more black metal scrap, and fortify one of the fooling villages to make a protected field to plant all the barley and flocks we need.